Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a cozy New Year's Eve night in. Very different from what I've done in the years before. I've never done this before. I'm always super glam and going out, but I wanted to do a video for those of you who are staying in with your family and friends. Maybe you're having dinner, drinks, watching the ball drop on TV, movie night, you know, that kind of night. And you're gonna be taking photos. I wanna look cute, so I have the perfect makeup look for you. Also a little hairstyle. I wanna give a big shout out to Lily Soul. Thank you for sponsoring this video. They are sponsoring the best freaking silk pillow I have ever used. Everything on my bed is from Lily Silk. I absolutely love them. I also have this really cute hair tie in my head that I'm gonna show you later, but I just wanna show you them up close right now because they're so cute. I got four, I have one in my hair right now, and then I have these three right here. They're super cute, they have these faux diamonds on them. Very, very adorable, they're silk, they're good for your hair, and I think that's what I really, really love about Lily Silk. Like, I have my favorite pillow from Lily Silk. This is her, she's very, very comfortable. The thing I love about these silk pillows is that they're anti-aging, they help with the wrinkles, you can move your hair around all crazy at night, you won't wake up looking like a hot mess. That's not gonna happen with these pillows, and that's why I love it. They also absorb less skincare products. If you go to bed with a bunch of skincare products on your face, you're gonna wake up with a glowy face still because it's not gonna be absorbed by the pillow. And there's just so many good benefits. It absorbs less dust, mites, and allergens. I also got this cashmere sweater from them to fit the vibe. A very luxe and comfy casual kind of night. So you guys have to check them out. I have a hair and makeup in this video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. But the first thing I like to start off with is sunscreen when I start off my makeup or just when I start off the day in general I'm using the Dr. Dennis Gross lightweight wrinkle SPF 30 on my hand starting off with skincare first and I'll just put that all over after I've applied my sunscreen then I'll go in with a primer the primer I'm using is from Dr. Oh, Dennis. No, this is Dr. Brand. So this one, I was like, oh, okay, I'm using the same brand. But this is Dr. Brand. This is the Pores No More Luminizer. I've been really liking this lately. This is a really good one. It gives you a pretty luminous, healthy glow, but it also helps to reduce the size of your pores. It makes your pores look smoother, um, so, which is amazing. So I'll take that and I'll apply it all over my face. Gives you that lit from within kind of glow, which I love. I'm really happy with how my skin is looking already. It's looking so glowy and I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my foundation. The foundation that I'm using today is from Valentino. This one's a really good one. It's long lasting, it's very lightweight. It gives you that healthy skin finish. And I am the shade MA2. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender to work that in. I love how this foundation just evens out my skin tone. It makes my skin look glowy, healthy. It's perfect for an everyday fresh face kind of look, uh, especially something like this more casual. Maybe you're hanging out with your family. Um, it's something really casual, but your skin still looks really glowy. It's going to look very pretty in pictures. So um, that's kind of like the mentality I'm going for for this makeup look right now. I want to go into the new year with like fresh, healthy skin. So that's why I'm kind of focusing on this glow right now. The concealer that I have really been loving is from Milk and it really surprised me that I liked it. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but it's called the Sunshine Under Eye Tint and Brighten. Anything that doesn't have a concealer or full coverage on it makes me like, uh, eh, feel like I'm not really gonna like it. But I tried this out, I gave it a chance and it blew my mind. The coverage on this is so freaking amazing and it looks like healthy glowy skin, just like natural healthy glowy skin. I have been using it ever since. I'm putting it underneath my under eyes and then right on the corners. Those are the darkest parts of my face. And I'm doing this area first because I want more coverage under the eyes. So I let my concealer set for a second and you'll get more coverage out of it. So I just like focus this going upwards. If you have dry, fine lines, or even if you're at the stage in your life where you see definite wrinkles, this concealer is definitely one for you because it makes everything look smooth and blurry and that's kind of like what i want right now for my under eyes in my life i just want everything to look smooth and blurry like in real life so this is that type of concealer for sure my voice sounds a little funny i sound a little deep right now because um i've been sick for the past three days but i'm getting better and um so yeah, I have like a, a kind of a manly voice. I feel like in my head, I sound like a lot deeper 
I don't know if it sounds like that in real life, but I feel like I have like a manly voice right now. Okay, I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid because at this point, why not? Get it ready for eyeshadow. For my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Sunshine Skin skin tint, under eye tint, because it has more of a warm kind of tone to it. I definitely want to use that as a bronzer. Apply that in those general, this general area right here. And then I'm gonna contour after this. this video is, I'm filming it on my iPhone and I'm at my house. Past two videos I filmed like that. I actually really like filming like this. I just don't have a legit setup for it right now. So I'm using, you should see what I'm using right now. I'm using like a mirror on a stand. You would never know because it looks so good on camera. But we are bronzy, oh, we're a little too bronzy. To contour, I like to use the Vanity Makeup Medium Trio. This is the Sculpt and Glow palette. I basically only use the this color right here, but I'm gonna go in to that, press it in. I'm using the Vanity Makeup brush as well, the blender, and this is the applicator. So I'm just pressing that into the skin and pushing it upwards. If there's too much product on the brush, then I'll take my Beauty Blender and just go underneath to smooth that out. I'm gonna go on the other side. You want your contour to be more cool tone and your bronze to be a little bit more warm. Bronze, you're adding warmth to your face. If you already know these things, you know, just ignore me, but just for all my girls out there that are just starting makeup, I always have these tips in here for you. You'll notice that there's a huge difference creating shadow versus having like warm, glowy cheeks. Just go up here and contour a little bit. Whenever you blend in your contour, make sure you're blending upwards. So blend into your hairline. And I love this brush because you can apply very precisely and then you blend with the other side. For my nose, I like to connect my brow and my nose together. I just feel like you get a little bit more emphasis on your eyes. And then I like to bring it into my eye a little bit. It also helps with symmetry on your face, helps to balance everything out. And for this, I'll just like, I'll press it in to the lines and then I'll like softly fade the edges by sweeping it. I feel like those little techniques are really helpful for you guys. I'm just gonna take this and bring it out so you can get a little lifted look. So I'm just gonna connect these two and we are balanced, we have symmetry. I'm gonna take a little bit under my chin because I have been getting, getting some chin, under chin action. I feel like when you get under like this area, it could be hereditary or it could be that you're eating too many sugars. And that is exactly what's happening to me. Eat better, I've been trying. I've been working out though. And I'm very proud of myself because I don't work out at all. And I have been going to the gym, doing all the like weights. Very proud of myself. So I'm gonna use this blush. I would be using my um, soft pink blush from Dominique Cosmetics, but we are all sold out. We've been sold out for like a month. I'm waiting for this shipment to come in. I finished mine. I know a lot of you guys finished yours and there's no way to get it until we get more in. So um, I'm using the NARS Orgasm for now and this is a really good one. Um, but my holy grail is soft pink from my um, cream blush. So we'll use this for now. You don't need that much. I don't know why I put that much, but this is that. Especially for a nice little soft kind of look, I like using this color. I can get carried away with blush though, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not, I usually don't mind it though because it looks good in pictures. Put a little on my nose. What the heck, let's just put it all over our cheek at this point. I like that like fresh, cute kind of look it gives you. And I'm gonna go under the eyes. So now we have a, a good amount of blush on our face. I'm gonna let all the cream on my face kind of sit for a little bit. And while that happens, I'm gonna do my eyes. So I'm gonna take the transition palette right here. I'm gonna take caramel, this color right here. I'm gonna add it to the crease. Just like a natural little crease contour. And follow that cream contour we did earlier. For the rest of the lid, I'm gonna take natural. And just set the concealer that's on our eyes. So we're basically just enhancing our natural eye shape and letting our eye shape just stand out. I am lifting mine a little bit. I'm just taking toffee with this pencil brush. I'm gonna start off with creating a general line of where we want, how we want our little liner to go. It's not gel or a liquid, so you can have a little bit more freedom here to clean it up. So I'm just putting down that base. Then I'm gonna go into the next shade, which is blushing with the flat brush and go underneath toffee. 
And then with the angled brush, I'm gonna go into Mocha and hit that closer to the lash line. And so the darker we get, the closer we get to the lash line. And then this area right here, I just want it to kind of go straight out. And I'll clean that up. That's really intense, honestly, but I'm gonna clean it up in just a minute. I wanna start where the pupil is, like right where the pupil is, and then go out. I'm just gonna get a smaller pencil brush. Just go above it and kind of work it back and forth, soften that up. And then I don't want it to be that long. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna take, ooh, let's take coffee bean and work that super close to the lash line. That's basically what I wanna do for the eyes, very subtle and soft. And then I wanna add some glitter because it's New Year's, but I'm gonna do that last. For the lashes, I'm gonna take the House of Lashes Good Karma Lash. I'm gonna pop those on really quick. And I will be right back. Okay, I just put on my lashes. I'm gonna put on some mascara on the upper and lower lash. What I like to do is put on a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, and then I'll purposely get a little bit of setting powder on them with the mascara on, and it makes them even longer because I'll go back in with the mascara over the top of the setting powder, and it makes them super long, and your mascara won't um, drag down or smudge. So you guys check, that's a really good hack. You guys have to check that hack out. Tell me how you like it, but I'll just put a little bit on for right now. So I have the unconditional palette, and I'll take a little bit of this glitter right here. This is eternal. Very, very pretty, and you don't need any type of glitter glue for it to stick and it kind of adheres by itself. So I'm just gonna put a little bit there. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the lower lash line. I want it to glow a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this Hourglass palette right here and this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked palette. Ooh. So I'm gonna take this color and this one right here and I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line so right underneath there, and it's gonna give us this really pretty luminous glow underneath our eye. It's subtle, but it just does something so beautiful to the eye. I love that. That is where we will stop the glow on the lower lash line. The unconditional palette, I'm gonna take Love and Light and hit that right underneath the brow bone the rest down with my finger to kind of warm up and blend out the product. Added a little bit more concealer to my inner corners. I feel like they needed it a little bit. And now I'm gonna set with the Laura Mercier setting powder with my damp beauty sponge. I'm just gonna go in and look up and only kind of set where I want a little bit more brightness I want it to be matte in that area, no shine. And those are the only places I'm gonna set because I want the rest of my face to look luminous, glowy, healthy, the three words we've been saying this whole time in this video. Go back in with the mascara just because we want our lashes to be a little bit longer. I want a luminous bronzer to enhance the glow on my face. So for that, I'm gonna take the Tom Ford bronzer. I've used a lot of it, so we're gonna go into this one and add more bronze. I love this one because it does give you a glowy kind of look. I'm actually gonna put some around my lip just to make them look a little bit more pouty. And then for a little bit of glow, I'm gonna take the Araceli Tequila Highlighter in Blanco. And this is such a beautiful highlight. I'm actually gonna use my finger for the nose area right on the bridge. It's such a pretty highlight. And then right here, and take a little bit a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna take some and put some right on the cheekbones and just across the forehead and maybe the chin, just all over the face. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the In A Days Lip Kit Set from Dominique Cosmetics and I'm gonna just add more volume to my lip by putting it on the center. And then I'll get my finger and just kind of go over it a little bit so it looks more natural. And then again, I'll go over it with my finger and just kind of heat up the product. So it looks like that, very natural. 
And then I'll go in with our clear gloss and add the sparkle. It's very subtle sparkle and it's ultra hydrating, so I absolutely love this. It has our vanilla scent in it. It's just such a beautiful scent. It's my favorite. And um, are we done with this look? That was so quick, you guys. This is so quick and easy. This is my final makeup look, and I'm also gonna add just a quick little hair tip. I got a bunch of these from Lily Silk. They're silk hair ties, and they have these like faux diamond rhinestones around them. They're so pretty. I'm gonna use the white one today. This just adds a little festive touch to your look, so I'm just gonna take two hair uh, pieces in the front, and then for the back, I'm gonna tie it kind of low because I want to add some volume to it. So what I'll do is I'll take it from the bottom and push it up and then kind of pull this hair out. Okay, so this is the look. I just kind of volumized it a little bit and then I swung some hair in the front and we are done with our hair and our makeup. We're ready to go eat with our fam, with our friends, wash the ball drop, chill, and be comfy. I'm in this really comfortable cashmere sweater from Lily Silk. I love sleeves that kind of hang right about here because I just love doing this. It's just so comfortable to me. And it has a little hoodie in the back. Very cute, very casual. I absolutely love this look right now. I have my Lily Silk pillows. They're pure silk and they're so comfortable. And at the end of the night, me and the fam will just like watch movies and go to sleep and drink hot chocolate. <laughs> it's literally Christmas all over again. So I enjoy using these silk pillows because for one, it's anti-aging. It helps with wrinkles. Um, when you press your skin against your pillow, it kind of creates this like wrinkle effect on your face. Over time, you are going to age quicker. But with these silk pillows from Lily Silk, you're gonna age a lot slower. Anything to slow down the aging process, I'm with and I absolutely love these pillows. So you guys gotta check them out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up this video and also let me know in the comments what you look forward to seeing on this channel next year. I can't wait to read that just because I am ready for like new things. Also, there is two videos on the side. If you haven't checked them out, they're there for you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, make sure to subscribe. My face is in a circle on the bottom. Just click that subscribe button. And I'm here every week for you guys. Let's be friends. If you love makeup, all things beauty, motivational mom stuff, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.